Hi, my name is Clint Taylor from Tex Kayak Fisher, and today I have the Smart Remote from GoPro. I'm going to take you through how to pair it with your GoPro and basically just walk you through all the different features that the Smart Remote has to offer. So let's go ahead and get started and see what the Smart Remote can do. The GoPro Smart Remote retails for $79.99 has a range of 600 feet and can connect up to 50 different GoPros. It is also small enough to wear as a watch. You don't have to worry about reliability either because it is waterproof up to 33 feet and has great impact resistance. So I have a couple different products here. This is the Hero 4 Session. It's a somewhat new camera from GoPro. This is a Hero 4 Silver Edition. As you can tell from the LCD or LED screen on the back. And of course, this is the GoPro Smart Remote. So let's go ahead and get things rolling. So the first thing you want to do is turn on all the different devices. So to turn on the Smart Remote, you'd simply press this power button that says Mode. And you'll see the red dots light initializing. On the Hero 4 Silver, you press this uh, central button, kind of its home button. You hear it beep, and now we got the... Uh, Hero 4 Silver working and turn on the Hero 4 session. It's a little weird because there's not really a on button. It kind of just runs. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and demonstrate with the Hero 4 Silver and get that set up. Then we'll do the Hero 4 session next. So as you can see on the GoPro remote, it has this animation which basically is saying that it's searching for a Wi-Fi signal and so how you get that to disappear or how you get to pair is first of all you need to go to your GoPro and get it in the Wi-Fi menu okay so as you can see I have the Hero 4 Silver on the right and the GoPro remote on the left so what we're gonna go ahead and do is put the Hero 4 Silver into Wi-Fi mode so how you do that is pretty easy you simply go to the touch display and you unlock it and you swipe to the left. I'm going to go to the setup option right here. Then I'm going to go to wireless, the very first one. And I go on pair and connect. And then there's a GoPro app for your iPhone and there's Wi-Fi remote. And since we're doing the Wi-Fi remote, obviously we, quick, we click the Wi-Fi remote. So I click there and it says in pairing mode, put Wi-Fi remote control into pairing mode. And so... How you do that is very simple. You have the setting button right here on the bottom of the remote. You just hold this down. And now you can kind of see these little arrows going back and forth with a little camera. And there it says a 1 to the left of the camera. It's kind of hard to see. But now to stop pairing, it's going to keep staying in pairing mode because it thinks you may want to do more than one GoPro. So to stop pairing, just press the setting button one time. There you see it says stop. And now it's kind of hard to see, but the screen is mimicked for that of the GoPro. Pretty cool. And so you'll notice if I press the mode button, changes the screen on both the GoPro and the smart remote. And that's what's really cool about this remote is basically you can do everything you can from the Hero 4 Silver that you can from the GoPro remote. The only thing you can't do is look through a LED screen to see what your field of view looks like. But that could be something that they maybe improve on if they make another smart remote. But then again, it would cost more. And so to start recording, very basic, you just press the record button on the remote. And because we're in burst mode, it just did 30 photos. That's why you heard all those beeps. And then if I, uh, it's still taking in all the photos, trying to memorize them. But if I go ahead and go to, like, let's say, uh, video mode. So playback, setup, video mode. To start recording video, all I have to do is press record. Now you can see that you have the red blinking LED and it's recording. To stop. Press the red button, you hear the GoPro beeps and it stops. To change settings in any of the different modes you're in, you simply press on this little wrench right here. So I press that, 
and then we have our different settings to scroll through the settings you simply press the mode button and it scrolls through and as you can see on both screens it scrolls through and to exit you just press the settings button and now you're back to the home screen now you notice if I press the mode button which is the power button and I hold it down it turns off both the smart remote and the Hero 4 Silver. Now something to notice is that on the Hero 4 Silver, the Wi-Fi blue LED is still blinking. And that means that if I turn the smart remote on, it should still turn on the Hero 4 Silver. So let's go ahead and give it a try. So there the Wi-Fi remote is. And there the Hero 4 Silver is. Very cool. Very neat product. Uh, works really great. It's waterproof, you know, pretty rugged. It's great if you're just doing, you know, all the filming yourself or even if you're like setting a camera far away and you don't want to waste battery or the card space. It's really cool product from GoPro. Works great with any of their products and I, I highly recommend checking it out. So let's go ahead and look into pairing multiple cameras. Now we have the Hero 4 Session in the screen along with the Hero 4 Silver. So we're going to try to go ahead and connect both of them to the Wi-Fi remote. So as you'll notice right now, the Wi-Fi remote is showing the screen of the Hero 4 Silver. But we want to go ahead and pair the Hero 4 Session as well. Now one thing that you will lose is you can only go to the default modes of the cameras when you have more than one meaning that you won't be able to change the individual settings of either camera it's just going to be all you can change do you want to shoot video do you want to shoot photo time lapse but no you can't change like frame rates when you have more than one camera from the wi-fi remote but it's still a great product and you can set the default modes for each camera to what you want so still very usable with more than one camera so let's go ahead and connect the hero 4 session as well so how we do that is we go ahead and put the Wi-Fi remote into pairing mode. So just hold down this wrench. And you'll see it's in pairing mode and it shows one camera connected. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back on this Hero 4 session. Click this little button right back here. Click it and a little screen pops up on top. I'm going to go to the select Wi-Fi control enter now we're in there and as you can see the Wi-Fi remote has already found it it's kinda hard to see but it shows a 2 on there meaning that it's connected to two cameras the session and the Hero 4 Silver and so to stop pairing press the little wrench pairing is stopped now we have two cameras ready and it says default modes just to let you know and if you want to scroll through the different modes now they're both in video mode there you go that way you can see a little better now they're both in photo mode single shot multi shot mode time lapse modes default modes video so on so on and so let's go ahead and see if we can turn them both off then both back on so I'm gonna hold down the mode button on the Wi-Fi remote and wow as you can see there almost simultaneously both of them turn off at basically the exact same time and both of them still have a blue LED blinking meaning that they still have their Wi-Fi signal so let's go ahead and try to turn them back on there's the Wi-Fi remote The session turned on just a little bit faster than the silver. I don't know if that's because it has a little bit better software in it, but still both of them turned on extremely fast. So very cool product once again from GoPro. You know, it has like a range of, you know, a couple hundred feet. I believe it's 600. And it's just great if you're using multiple camera angles and you're the only person filming. I use it a lot. It helps me to save battery as well as my SD card space. Uh, so go ahead and go to gopro.com and check it out. It's a very neat product. Highly recommend it. And keep your eye out for the new video coming out soon. Be sure to subscribe and thank you for watching.